what is up i'm wanna turtle and today we have i guess a mail day but it's probably more accurately <laughs> uh not so much day it's more like the past quarter uh apologies it's been a little bit since we've done a video just been i don't know had a cough for months and still have it you can probably hear in my uh throat but um yeah just some stuff i've been adding to the collection and we're going to talk about a couple of buys that are out there for some sealed collection stuff. Uh, you can actually see in the background these Cleaver V-Star boxes. Um, probably, definitely not my favorite product, but um, you know, I think a lot of vendors just had so many of these that some vendors were fire selling them for $15. I think they retail for like $40. So there's a lot of good pickups right now. Uh, here's another one. If you're lucky enough to have a local Costco, uh, you can buy these Evolving Skies ETB plus a Evolution tin. Uh, I think I think for like $38. Um, even online, which I picked up this one, is a little bit more expensive. I think it's like $10 more, uh, but I still think that's a great purchase price. Um, but yeah, if you have a local Costco, definitely check it out. But I think people are buying them by the pallets. Uh, this one I picked up today. It is another Pikachu Zekrom box from GameStop. And uh, I'm not sure if this is a reprint box. Actually, there's a Fusion Strike pack in there that I can see. Uh, so maybe that means it is a reprint. I don't remember when this first came out. But a pretty good thing. I think we got battle star uh stars um evolving skies in there so a lot of a pretty good pack selection and darkness of blaze vivid and just a great promo so this is our on sale for at gamestop for 20 dollars off i guess they say the starting price is 60 down to 40 and i rarely use my gamestop pro membership coupon so i did that for another five dollars another 15 off for just some points i've had built up and uh, so it came out to like 20 bucks for that box. Definitely a great purchase. Uh, especially if you're a pro member, you don't really use those $5 off monthly coupons. I think it's a great way to use them. Um, just some other stuff. McDonald's has their Happy Meal thing. So uh, we'll get one I don't know, like once a week or something. And so I started to pick these, or not pick these up, but started to accumulate these from those. Don't have, I think there's 10 and not really worried about getting all of them. Uh, all right, so that those are kind of like some of the purchases for some sealed stuff. Now we have a stack of graded cards. To be honest, I've been building these up for so long. Actually, I forgot. There's more. Ah, all right. So here's another thing that we picked up: the special delivery Charizard from the Pokemon Center. Uh, so this is kind of like the Bidoof. You sign up a while back, and then they send you a code. I actually did get a code, which took forever. Um, but I did purchase some of these on eBay, singles, raw. I started when the price was a lot higher than it is now. So, uh, but you know, just the special delivery stuff is so cool. The Pikachu, I don't know. I feel like the Pikachu was literally free and it did, did the best <laughs> like out of the gate. These charts, I think, uh, I bought some codes on eBay. I think they were down to like $20, which is insane. I picked up that single for way higher. It is a little complicated if you do buy a bunch of codes, you kind of like, you know, one per account, one per household kind of thing. So there are some hoops to jump through, uh, but you can get them at an insane price point if you ask me. And uh, so those will continue to roll in. Um, we'll talk about how many I picked up, but uh, more than I probably need. Okay, so we have some graded cards now to go through. Uh, we picked up some more TGA stuff again. Uh, I, I'm, it's been, these have been in my possession for quite a while, so it's been a while since I looked at TGA items on eBay, but I am very confident that the idea is if there's a, a card that you want at PSA 9, you can get a TGA <laughs> one for much cheaper. Uh, so anything Watsi, I'm all for, all for uh, an unknown from Neo. I bet this, I bet I picked this up for like $15, which any... Uh, graded Neo card at near mint, mint plus, hollow. I am that's I'll take it all day. Uh, we have a black star promo Meowth. I think I have this one in PSA, and it's Alexa, stop. Oops, sorry about that. And um, you know, it's not a great way to fill in a collection, in my opinion, like a PSA collection with TGA. Although the only nice part is like the case is very similar, so like they kind of stack well with. with uh, PSA cards and uh, oh there was oh I showed the um, this GameStop promo so GameStop randomly has um, got this with that uh, Zekrom Pikachu box 
but uh, they randomly give out promos. They're never anything special. I don't think they've ever even been like full art. I think one of the last one I got was like a flat bowl or something. And so a Santa Conda one graded. I mean, hey, they'll take it. It's not a unique card, but unique in that it says GameStop on it. And uh, yeah, got it graded. This one I am pretty happy with. I don't remember the price. I've had this for quite a while, but um, I'm willing to bet that I picked this up for like half of what the PSA equivalent was. Um, and so obviously the, the Charizard medal uh, is the most desired, but the all the other promos, I feel like they're great. Like this Pikachu, such a, such a classic art. And um, even, you know, the Pokeball and I don't remember what the other card was, the other gold card. Um, happy to add those to the collection. And yeah, apparently TGA grades these. I don't know why this one's such a bad grade. I see some nicks. All right, so more TGA stuff. This is another great example of something I good think it's good to target with TGA. 9.5, I think a 9.5 TGA, you have a good shot of saying it's equivalent to PSA 10. Maybe it's like 50, 50, 9, and 10. And so any secret rares, recent ones, uh, especially if it's not, you know, like the, the main chase card, the main alt art, some kind of gold card i i feel like you can just get these for absolute steals uh the way i look at it is let's say you, you pick up a booster box for a hundred dollars right that's kind of like typical price and let's say you got really lucky you got two gold cards <laughs> or two secret rares and one's a gold card and uh then you pick up this thing uh, and, and that's like best case scenario right let's say you got a nice altar and then a gold card what a great box um and but you know, as far as what you could pick these up, I think I got this for like $20. So great pickup in my opinion. Um, all right, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Actually, these are pretty cool. So I don't, these are kind of like my first ghost rares to add to the collection. Uh, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of ghost rares because like when I just look at the card, like I see literally nothing. You kind of have to have it at the right angles to even see the card. I know nothing about this Odin father of the Acer card. Um, but I thought it was cool to add some ghost rares to my collection and um, this one's only a PSA 5 but then this one I think I kind of got this at a good price you know it doesn't um, so the, the thing is that the eBay listing and even the PSA label does not mention it's a ghost rare so I, I think it's accurate to say this is a mistake like that is definitely a ghost rare that can't be uh, taken for anything else and this is a near mint seven, so not a bad grade. Um, probably not the most, you know, Leviathan Dragon. I don't know anything about them, but um, I potentially got this off at a great price because the PS, the eBay title didn't mention Ghost Rare, so maybe Ghost Rare collectors, you know, the ones that would bring it to the appropriate market price, weren't aware of it. So maybe it came went under the radar. Uh, here we have a Thunderous. Anything from kind of like two. Uh, 2005 to 2012 ish um i feel like that was just a huge gap in my collection so now we're looking at cgc cards and i'm totally happy with adding these in as cgc and just like an entire decade of pokemon cards that are just absent in my collection and at this point these like niche sets uh niche maybe not the right word but psa is getting pretty expensive so cgc is a great alternative just to get some of these cards anything base sets <laughs> I don't, even if it's low grade cgc i i don't mind having a base set i have a tga psa uh you know unlimited nine i probably have eight probably seven they're super cheap and just i love this set and base set two i think is just it's funny how how a car definitely the most vintage bang for your buck <laughs> not not like uh definitely not high in demand here we just have a random i'm not sure if i picked this up on whatnot or ebay but i'm i think i just went through all the cgc auctions that were something that eh, i'll add that to my collection put like a really low bid on it and here are just some stuff i picked up base set unlimited not shadowless not red cheeks nothing special about this um except for that it's kind of in the same video so we can compare it to <laughs> like you know, this is why this card is so cool, just from the base set one. Um, and they got the same grade. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know why I have this card in my collection. So, similar idea here, although once we get into Sun and Moon, uh, this is an era which I was collecting. And so, you know, definitely PSA is 
uh, kind of like very much something I could have gotten on my own, but uh, you know, I don't think I have this in PSA, so fine to pick this up in in CGC. Again, like these these kind of like um, not super desirable secret rares, you can just get for crazy prices. And Zamazenta, the the dogs, I don't know. I think these things just got printed to oh, not printed into oblivion, as in like there's so many of this exact card. There's just so many different versions of Zacian and Zamazenta, and the arts they don't vary that much. So I feel like you know. Then there's so many promos. Um, so the dogs, I feel like never fare that well. We'll see, you know, as in the future, if the dogs kind of hold more value as a very likable Pokemon. Um, I'm not too hopeful, but who knows? We got a Gyarados EX. This is a Shining Gyarados and that he's red from some kind of tin. Ooh, this card I do like, Burning Shadows Charizard. I think at once upon a time when it got back into the hobby, yeah, centering is way off. Um... It was just a cool card. So I picked up a bunch uh, on eBay. I think they were like $6 at the time. I think I, I traded a bunch. Um, so I don't have them. But I kind of wish I, I think I had like 10. I should have just got them all graded. At least the ones I could get at 10. And just keep them for the Zard collection. Keldeo. Just say, hey, like PSA. Even like let's say this PSA. Uh, PSA 9 Secret Rares are just great to have. So I don't mind picking them up in CGC. Especially when the price is right. Here's a very solid card. i curious what I paid for this. Um, again, I feel like a lot of these CGC cards go under the radar unnoticed. So you can get them at great prices. Um, the Team Up Charizard pre-release promo. Very nice. And looks like center, yeah, centering 8.5. I, I, I wouldn't, if it was an 8, it wouldn't shock, shock me. Here is a, I think these are commons. A set of cards that... I wish I picked up <laughs> like when I first got back into the hobby. Got a probably could have got them for a steal for what they're going on now. Just these dittos. Um, I think they have most of the starters, base stars, and Pikachu. Uh, just very unique. Um, I think the new thing with Pokemon Go Ditto is it's it's cool. Like I I I, I want to see more interesting things with Ditto. I think that's kind of like a un or you know they're tapping into it now, but there's still has more to give. And I don't think they'll overdo it like they have done with Shinies. Uh, love these random Japanese promos. Just like the, for whatever Pokemon Center, fill in the blank. I love it. I, I'm waiting to get some of like the, the, the Sailor ones back. Um, some of the other ones I think I do have them graded. And this one's, this one's funny. Let's, I think it's like a comedian Pikachu from Osaka DX opening. All right, this is a random Japanese card. Um, I feel like the tag teams is a nice collection to finish out. I'm not too crazy about filling them, filling some of the gaps in with uh, Japanese, but uh, again, probably just got this for an absolute steal of a price. If I just looked at it, I was like, all right, let me lowball this this auction, and if I don't get it, well, you can kind of see the card, but whatever. All right, so this one, I actually, I some similar things like, wow. The Espeon, yep, it's Japanese, but it's pristine 10, so I'll throw what I thought was a low price. And I think when I picked it up, so then I dug deeper, I think I basically got it at market price. Um, so, you know, this, this one was not a steal, but then I was thinking about, all right, uh, it's just a solid thing to add to the collection. Obviously, I'd prefer to, to be English. Um, and probably PSA, but uh, C again, CGC is fine. Japanese is fine for the price that I paid. And um, yeah, I think this could go up. Let's see, I think this is the, yeah, you know what? I, I, the more I think about it, I think I'm happier with it. Like, uh, I think EV Heroes did get a reprint, but I doubt they reprinted the, those, those gym, they call it like gym box. Basically the box with two EV Hero boxes in it and this promo. Um, yeah, I, I, doubt i don't know for a fact but i kind of doubt they made more of these so uh, the more i think about it the happier i am with that purchase it, although again i don't think i got it for much lower than market price if if at all um random lost thunder card i do like this zero aura and i think this is the best version of um best zero aura art the yellow on yellow doesn't contrast by just i think it, it works and i did use this card when i played the online game so it does have like a little sentimental value and then the last card is a Nido King from Base Set Shadowless. 
really low grade, but um, you know, I feel like CGC, I'm not going to be filling out like a, a 9, 8, you know, base set collection, but it's more like I want to have a CGC Shadowless Grade X collection where I just fill out the uh, all 16 hollows. Um, I don't really care for the grade. And um, I haven't even finished this with PSA, but we'll pick up some of the low hanging fruit whenever we can. And um, yeah, that, you know, that I think um, mail days will kind of be few or far in between moving forward. Uh, probably, you know, maybe some more of these obscure purchases, but I don't think they warrant a full video. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye out for some great deals on sealed products. I think the only one that uh, I think is uh, worth considering, well, I think on Amazon, uh, you can pick up some Evolution tins for I think like $15, and I think they do have five packs in it. So a pretty solid option there as well. Uh, and just, you know, I think there's a lot of good things you can get at way below MSRP. Uh, but that's going to be it for me today. Uh, still have about 400 PSA cards to show in upcoming videos. So definitely more content to come. And uh, hopefully I feel 100% soon and we can definitely start pumping out the videos. So thanks for watching. Huge shout out to all the patrons. If you see anything in this video that you're interested in, definitely shoot me a message. I'm sure we can work something out for significantly under regular price. Uh, as you are supporting the channel. So thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.